Hey Seth, this is, uh, was this a project, this table? Yeah. How did you go about doing it? They Did they ask you to do it or how did it all come about? Um, well, the clinic here wanted a picnic table, so they wanted me to build it with my grandpa. So we started building it about a month ago and finished it in a couple weeks. So how did, did you have the design in mind? Did you go off a of design or did you just start putting, getting the idea of, is this an octagon shape or? Uh, yeah, it's octagon. We have one of these pretty much identical at our house and we've done it before so we just use the same plans as we did before and we just had to get a lot of two by fours a lot of wood it wasn't that detailed of a piece as much of the bulk of it so how many hours would you say it took you to do this mm, i'd probably say about six and what, what would you say now i look when i go and look at the all these cuts here I think, oh boy, that's a challenge to match those up. What was the most challenging part of it? Uh, probably to get the measurements right and actually get these seats to fit in the slots that we had for them because they didn't fit the first time, so we had to recut some of the parts. You did, yeah. So putting it together, is it uh, uh, screwed in? Uh, yeah, we use screws and then we also use some of these some parts of it you can use nails. We see underneath here, and this thing is sturdy because I was. Uh, yeah. It is and heavy. Yeah. So it's uh, is it going to be per permanently here at the uh, Country View? Uh... Yeah, probably for okay. now at least. Well, Seth, thanks for being with us today. This is a great project. Thank you really very much. Really love it. Hey, one last thing, staining it. Was that a, a, a challenge as well? We actually just used um this brickstone colored paint here we put on one coat on everything we are going to put on a second coat here just haven't got around to it yet all right any projects in the future um probably some more woodworking next year great thanks seth have a great day thank you good morning ladies hi, hi. thanks for being out here today mm -hmm. so tell me about your horses and uh what it's like to have a horse and ride the horse and talk about riding it bareback. I know you mentioned that earlier there. And who, who am I speaking with? Um, I'm Lydia Miller and this is my horse Tanner. He is turning 11 today actually. It's a good age for a horse. Some people think that's old but it's not really. It isn't. No, it's not. Okay. He is a Arabian quarter horse cross and he's a gelding. Beautiful. He's very home right now i guess he can be spazzy but he's actually in a good mood right now oh i'm glad especially because i'm here i want him to be in a good mood <laughs> yeah. so how long have you had him uh i got him last year in october and so far everything's been going great been taking him to a couple of shows he's been doing decent Beautiful. Yeah, so. so, and you, you ride them, mm -hmm. of course. And uh, talk about riding them bareback, because you mentioned that to me when I, earlier. Uh, yeah, so bareback is kind of, is something that's nice to learn. We didn't bring the saddles today, because it's just work, so we're probably gonna do that later. And something, come here, buddy, say hi. Something that's just kind of fun to know so you use the bridle still, but then you have to have a lot of balance because you don't have a saddle. And sure. you really got to stay tight up there and just kind of like, yeah, just stay on. Stay <laughs> on, it's right. It's a little yeah. more difficult, a little bouncy. Okay. Yeah, but it's still fun. Fantastic. So who do we have here? Introduce yourself for I'm us. I'm Cheyenne Johnson. This is Jitterbug. She is a six-year-old mare. She's a bay. She is pure quarter. She didn't get much time with her last owners to really prove herself. So she came to me and now she's starting to learn a lot of new things with me. How long have you had her? I've had her for about nine months. We got her in November of 2019. And what, what's your favorite thing about uh, having a horse? There's just so much fun. It teaches people a lot of responsibility and showing them is so amazing because it's a new experience for people. And it's just nice to see these animals work as the best they can and show their real style and the beauty of 
feast, basically. Wow. Ladies, this has been wonderful. Th thanks for being with us today. Of course. Oh, hold on, ladies. Here we go. Who, who do we have here? I'm Mila from the Oregon Headliners 4-H Club, and I'm going to be showing my project. Great. And then we'll get to you in a moment, okay? Okay. All right. All right. So what's your project? My first my first thing I'm going to show is my sunflower. Which right, is beautiful. Which, which right now a bee is feeding on it. Oh, right my gosh. There. Oh, first, yeah. Look I at thought, that. First, I thought it was dead, but it isn't. And I grew these sunflowers by seed. How long did it take from seed? Um, I'm not really sure, but it it can grow up to eight to ten feet. Oh my gosh! I think so, it's called the Russian giant. Oh wow! So you know, I noticed this uh, pepper here. Yeah. Is this something you're, you're you've grow, been growing? I grow peppers every year, and. And what's new for the vegetables I'm growing this year, this year I'm trying carrots. Oh, wonderful. But none of my carrots are ready yet, so. All right, well, I love the plant. Hey, could you talk about your socks here? Oh, sure. they, these are wonderful. Uh, my socks, they came in a kit. They're called crazy socks. These socks, I tie-dyed them, and the unicorns just appear right after the tie-dye hits it. So it's like so it magical. Like, yeah, it just like clears up space okay. and it makes a unicorn. Wonderful. Is there anything else you want to show us or should we talk to your sister? I want. I also wanted to show my pillow and my pillow case. Okay. This so this is your, your pillow here. Yeah, this pillow I made with the blueprint kit. I made it on the sewing machine and I and it was a little hard um, sewing this part together when the stuffing is in. Oh, I'm sure, but it looks wonderful. And my pillowcase, you went shopping at Joanne's Fabric to get this fabric. Very nice, a lot of and dogs I, there. I also used the sewing machine for this one too. I know it, we used the instructions from a blueprint too. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's talk to your sister. Now, what's your sister's name? Hi, I'm Kiana, and I'm in the Oregon Headliners. Great. So, what's your project? Well, um, I guess the main. You want to come out here? Come on out here. Yeah, the main one I'm going to show right now is my, all of these. All right, let's get over here. here. Yeah, all right. So, what do you got here? So, I have got over here. Oops. I have Caitlin Barrel Racing with Misty. All right. And then right here, the one I'm trying to set up, which and she's not. riding the horse at times, right? Yes. Okay. She's getting ready for a trail ride, actually. Oh, a trail ride. Yeah, yep, that's Heather. kind of peaceful, right? Being yeah, on the trail. Angel. And then over here, since her hat keeps falling off, she won't have her hat on. <laughs> but anyway, that's Megan riding. And this is trail. right here? Yeah. Okay. And she looks very professional, like she yes, does compete. Yes, they are doing dressage, and Polygra is doing a pirouette. Okay. And then over here with Star is Nadia. Right here? Yep. They are doing a dressage. Um, not a dressage, a horse show where they do a pattern with the horse, and then at the end they stand in front of the judge with the girl on the on the side holding, okay. the, holding the lead. And then right here is Emperor Nordis Aguas. It's wow. right now um, he's doing a halter class, which is where you just show the whole the horse. You can have a halter if you want, but it's just the horse. Beautiful. And then they also have spots, also doing halter class. Okay. And then one of my groups groups are where. Three more horses that are like I call this the blaze group because they all have the face marking of the blaze. Oh, they do. Yep. Look at that. And then over right. here, my second group, I call it the wild mane group. Yeah, look at that. It's looked like the wind is hitting. Yeah, their names aren't as perfectly combed as the comb does these ones. That's Brian Steak, that's Obsidian Block, and then that's my horse off the beam. Well, this is wonderful. Thanks for sharing with us today, ladies. You're welcome. We'll say goodbye now. Bye guys. Bye. We've got some paintings, photography, beautiful stuff. So this work here belongs to this gentleman. Who do we have here? Uh, my name is Brett. Brett, yeah. tell us about your photography. Did you do the painting as well? No, that was my sister. But the two photos here I took on, uh, the one of them is on a Google Pixel and the other one is on my Samsung phone. And the, one of them was just in the morning and the other one was a couple nights ago. I was trying to get the stars and it looked really neat. 
So, so w did you go out with the intent to get that photo yeah. or you did? Mm -hmm. um, may I, I want to take this one and hand this to you. Yeah. If you might, and then just talk about that because that is just brilliant. Well, I went Let me outside. see if I can get over here. Here we go. Okay. I went outside to uh, with a tripod to try to get the uh, the stars looking all nice, and I took a couple of shots, and they showed up really nicely on my Google Pixel. It did the whole extended exposure thing, so everything showed up really nice and neat. It looked a lot better on the uh, on the phone, but when it printed, some of the stars were lost. But it still looked really neat. You said uh, uh, you did it on the Google Pixel. Mm -hmm. Did uh, and the exposure? Are you able to do that on the Google Pixel? Uh, put the exposure longer? Yeah, they ha it has a mode called Night Sight, and it'll like change all the exposure and all the other settings specifically so that it can capture the best stars out there. That's a really good uh, camera on the Google Pixel, isn't it? Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, thanks for sharing that. We got our air conditioner yeah. kicking in, so we're going to have a little noise. Let's go over to your sister and talk about your, your stuff here. Yeah. Um, hi, I'm AJ and I, I, I'm in 4-H. I don't know. <laughs> you did the painting? I did the painting, yeah. I okay. did it. I based it off of a Bob Ross tutorial, actually. Oh, um, a tutorial. Yeah, so I May watched I? the tutorial and so show us yeah. that here. So this is the painting I did. I used the Bob Ross tutorial and like just watched the video and kind of went along it and it, you know, happy accidents kind of thing. Just kind of slowly morphed into my own thing that doesn't really look like his, like, but I, I really like how it turned out either way, so. Yeah, it looks really cool. So we're looking uh, out your window. Yeah, it's an acrylic painting um, and you use masking tape here and then you paint your scene and then you remove the masking tape and it looks like a window frame so bob ross has tutorials is it bob ross doing it um from... yeah it's just him like painting and he, you kind of just go along with him so it's not really a tutorial you just paint with him well look we have someone that wants to see your work so let thanks guys yeah, that was yeah. wonderful yeah thank you and we have a what what we call them a customer or a Okay, and this was a former 4-H person right here in the vehicle. 4-H person is fabulous. Yes, wonderful. Hey, who do we have here? Hi, I'm Chloe. Chloe, good to meet you. Could you tell us about your project here? Well, this is Jack, and he's an American short hair. Cat? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's your personal cat there, of course. Yep, we have many of those. So you have a lot of things here. Now you've got your cat. I look. It looks like you do some canning. What's in there? Applesauce. Applesauce. That's going to be delicious for the winter or now. <laughs> and you uh, you grow the flowers here. Yep. Can you talk about the types of flowers? This is a red lily. Red. I really like the lilies. Beautiful. Beautiful. Black eyed Susan. All right. And lilac. Lilac. Lock. Oh, phloxes. Okay. All right. And then more lilies. And more lilies. All right. We'll go down. Let's go down to your. Uh, now these are uh, uh, chickens, mm -hmm. right here. Uh, and, you know, in the background, I see this beautiful uh, little. Can we talk about uh, th this one right here, just sitting there peacefully on here? Now, yeah. how how did you how did you come to own this? Well, there was this family, and they couldn't have a baby. They gave them to us. We named them Crumbles. This is Crumbles? Mm hmm And Crumbles, does Crumbles lay eggs? No, he's a boy. He's a boy. See, what do I know? The boys don't lay eggs. They eat them, right? So anything other interesting about your chickens you'd like to talk about? Well, Crumbles is a Sarama frizzle. And we have different kinds of Saramas. Like, there's another frizzle drama, and there's a smooth one. That one's a boy, and then there's a girl back there. Back there. And is that a, a, a common thing, that the feathers are flared up like that on them? Is that a... Yeah, it's kind of common, depending on what kind of sarama that you want to get. Okay. Well, very good. It looks like we... Now, we're going to look down here. we got a line of people coming to see your stuff. So, I thank you for being with us. Thank you. Hey. I did missed your photography here. This looks fantastic. The butterfly and the cat. I took Wonderful. The butterfly the other day, and the cat was at an art, an old packet sharing at my mom's. Brother. 
Excellent. Thanks for being with us. Thank you. You're welcome.